opener, just what was needed to get the campaign off to the smooth start they wanted. Their boss has been keen to point out in his press conference that they must remain focused, and that focus is something they should be able to keep because the position is clear. Perform now as they did first up, and they would be... Chance to shoot! Down, and the referee has pointed at the spot. So a big, big chance now from 12 yards. To get them off and running. Out. He was just never going to miss. Well, he took a chance, hoping that the goalkeeper would dive, and that's exactly what he did. Oh, Napoli are back in business. Well, those two have a lovely understanding, and they executed the one two impeccably to set up the goal. First 45 minutes are up. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. It's because he has put in a reel on a shift. Going for goal! Napoli showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Greenwood. He's on his way. Shapes to shoot! Late in the day, this could well be it! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Monaco take the lead, now it's just a question of holding on. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. Greenwood. Over to the left. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. And there goes the final whistle. Monaco win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it. Perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that Good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here. And looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is... And it's Ben Yedda. He's gone for it! Goal, Monaco! There is the breakthrough! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But Robert still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. And it's played forward. Yazici looking to get on the end of this. Keeper's ball. Almost there, and the players can feel it. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And the referee brings it to a close. Monaco win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. live coverage of the ongoing group stage here the tournament making steady progress towards its knockout phase
that is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Time whistle goes. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But that could still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. And this is getting better and better. He was urged to shoot. He truly delivered. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but. How about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. That well. And that is that. So they bask in their win. A genuinely professional performance. And the result, which is well deserved. Would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Monaco simply imposed their strength from start to finish. Good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for Universal. Goal! Saint Etienne! Deep into first half stoppage time, a crucial goal. He was urged to shoot and he duly delivered. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things. So there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. Is... Goal! The second half sparked straight into life. Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. But for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Will be the final act. Well, no winner here, but an intriguing game. The result probably a fair reflection. It has finished all square. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Monaco may have approached this game as a probable win, Peter. Focus, eyes on the prize, which is way beyond these group stages. Well, Peter, this is nothing to do with good fortune. No, this team is here on merit, and if they can sustain their level of performance, it's hard to see anything other than the right conclusion to this group stage. There's a goal! And the second half is off to a flyer! Monaco are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. He scored! And surely that clinches it! There really is no way back now! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very... Keeper has beaten it away. And has a goal! 
Well, I think when you're in that situation, all you can do is, is tip your hat to the keeper because that was fantastic. Turns and goes back. And it's played forward. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Monaco have booked their berth in the knockout stage. What a prospect for them. A job really well done so far. Well, how will we look back on that? Well, this is what the team set out to do, no doubt, and it's the first significant mission out of the way. I think having seen the, the performances so far and with the momentum they've amassed, I, I quite fancy them to do well in the next phase too, you know.